in your face, CVS. Oh, and to all the cops who own CVS pharmacies, payback is a bitch, isn't it? Looks like you just got served. Also, what did you think was going to happen? $1.99 for some salt and vinegar Pringles? How does a working man on minimum wage even afford that? You had it coming, and payback is a bitch. Don't you feel, though, that the CVS charging so much for Pringles is just begging to get looted? <laughs> no, it's not. I, you can't really say on Pringles. Why would Pringles come up? Do you think $2 is reasonable for Pringles? Yes. How much would these be in, in the country of Europe? Uh, probably uh, two, two for that price. Don't you find it way too expensive? Not really. These are $1.99. Where? At CVS. They're burning down CVS pharmacies, they're stealing Pringles. They're rising up against the system that is oppressing them, right? No. Totally not. What they're doing is they're destroying their own community. And it makes no sense what they're doing. But the, the system. The system, okay, the office is wrong. The officer should pay for what he, his wrongness. That's why we have a legal system. That's why we have a legal system. The community and people's property is not the system. But these are like two bucks. <laughs> what the Pringles got to do with it? Hey, could I ask you guys some questions? About, could we do an interview about Baltimore? Okay. What do you think about the CVS burning down there? <laughs> what do you think about the CVS burning uh, down there? I love it. That's good news to you? Why wouldn't it be? I don't know, it just seems like it's not the best directed kind of a rebellion. It's rising up against the man though, right? In some form it is, yeah. It's a revolution. Mm, I wouldn't say that. Is it, so it's good? In some forms, yeah, but not a revolution kind of thing. It's just like what they want. It's basically what they want to do. So is that good or bad? It's good. Stand it up, fight the man. Cool. Thank you. Yep. CVS employees. So there you have it, folks. Even CVS employees think that it's totally fucked up that society has done this to them and CVS should pay. For people who don't understand what I'm talking about, there's a brilliant article in Daily Coast called Why Do They Burn Down Their Own Neighborhoods? Uh, and it, here's a relevant quote. This was about Ferguson, but it sums up Baltimore. There are 365 days in every year, and on every day of every year of your life, you've had to walk past these cathedrals of consumer culture and see things you don't have and can't get because you have no money, no real education, and very little help, I mean hope, of ever being employed.